What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Easy Rude, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That notification icon for more videos like these. So, Terrence Bud Crawford. Um, Terrence Crawford does... Well, he posts an Instagram post. And in this Instagram post, he tags uh, Earl Spence Jr. He caught a fish. Caught a big fish, too. And he tags Earl Spence Jr. in his post, and he's just like, he's like, court the big fish coming for the little lion, the lion cub next. Um, man, Terrence Crawford got the world in his palm right now. Everybody is is Team Crawford right now. Everybody that wasn't Team Crawford is Team Crawford right now, except for the loyal Earl Spence fans. The Earl sexuals are still Earl sexuals. But Terrence Crawford literally has the world in his palm right now, guys. He has the world in his palm. And he can completely take advantage of this. This is why I don't understand why Bud wants to uh why Bud wants to retire, bro. I don't understand it. I mean, for years you wasn't getting your credit, and you're finally getting your credit. Now you want to retire? Come on, T Bud. We want to see you give us at least Seven more fights. If T Bug can give us at least seven or eight more fights, bro. Hats off to you, bud. Hats off to you. You can retire, bro. Just give us seven more fights. Now that you you've been trying so hard to get to where you're at right now, right? T Bud, if T Bud is watching this, you've been trying so hard to get to where you're at right now to finally get your recognition. You said it yourself in a recent interview. I should have been here. Yes, you should have been here. I mean, it took some time. So, all right, let me give you guys some advice. For example, um, everybody got something that's working for them, but maybe they're not going as hard as they should, that they will be like 10 years ahead. Meaning like if you got something that's good and is working, a formula, you're making, I'm talking about business-wise, you're making good money, but you can make it better, but you're just going at your own pace. And then one day you just wake up and be like, yo, I could do this, I could step up. I should have been did this for me to get from A to B. You understand what I'm saying? But you was controlling your own pace. But then you finally did what you needed to do to get from A to B. And you was like, man, I could have been here 10 years ago. But at the end of the day, slow and steady wins the race. So even though you could have been there 10 years ago, who knows if it was going to be the same outcome. So whatever is meant for you, my advice to people, whatever is meant for you is going to happen for you. So if it was always meant for Bud and Bud was supposed to be there, He's dead now. You understand what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. Um, so T-Butt tags uh, Jamel Charlo, man. Jamel Charlo doesn't respond. T-Butt tagged Jamel Charlo. Before that, Jamel Charlo actually tagged Bud. Jamel Charlo tags Bud. He says, I'm going to go take care of business with Canal Alvarez. And if you can get past my boy Earl Spence Jr., then maybe we can make a fight. So we'll see.